So here we go. Okay, really quick before this video starts, I just wanted to say I was going over like the footage of editing it yesterday and I just got done freezing my fingers off trying to record the uh, little intro shot you saw here. I just wanna say uh, I appreciate everyone watching this. I appreciate people that are coming back, all the subscribers and everything like that. I also wanted to say I'm very, I'm having a lot of uh, days where I don't have very much to do. I'm very rushed, I got a lot going on. So I keep saying I'm gonna keep doing awesome stuff. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna take my drone, I'm gonna do this, that, and the other. I'm gonna record this, that. I am still planning on doing that, but I just things keep coming up on the very few days that I do. So I also realized I said that very, very, are uh, very more often than I should have in the video. So I won't say I'm sorry for that, but I hope what you see in the content kind of gives you an idea of what I'm rolling with and I'm rocking with. It does help somebody or at least someone pique someone's interest. So with that, I again, thank you guys all for hanging out and I'll transition to the video. All right. So we're going to start right away here with the my bag, which is a Peter McKinnon 25 liter. Uh, so far I've had unfortunately way too many camera bags and I've done way too much spending and wasting money on, on ones because I think, oh, this is cool because it's got this pouch or it does this, that, and the other. And I'm just, I, I way too, again, way too much money. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this bag. Obviously it's a little costly. I think it turns a lot of people away from it, but for what I do, I enjoy it thoroughly. So my, my bag, besides holding all the gear I take out when I actually go shoot, do my drone, whatever it may be, I also kind of store a lot of like extra cables um, and things like that in it as well. So it's kind of like a mobile workstation type of thing, even though I'm not really doing that with when I shoot, but I like to have everything centered in one spot, even if it does make it a little bit heavier. So for me, it's pretty much worth it. But I'll, we'll start here with the outside here on the, so these pouches are magnetic. So I just kind of collapse back if I fold it in. I, I carry a Yeti water bottle, hot, cold, whatever. Um, pretty durable. I actually had another one that there's somewhere else that uh, if you, I actually ran over with my car and it held up. So that's <laughs> that's pretty much the reason why I carry that. Uh, always good to have liquids on you. And then here I have my main tripod. And one thing I will mention is that all this stuff is down in the description below. And this is a uh, Gorillapod 3K, I believe. And pretty straightforward for this guy. I just drop it in as much as I can and hit, oh, oh, hit the clasp just like that. Keeps it in pretty good. It's not the most tightest fit in the world, but I don't plan on throwing it down any stairs or anything like that. So for what I do, just walking around upstairs, downstairs, maybe scaling down some cliffs and everything like that. It works absolutely fabulous for me. And then another thing I will highlight here is right in the center, that PG, PGY Tech um, mounting system. So I keep that on my left band, my left shoulder, whatever you want to call it. And it clicks in there and to pull it, once it clicks in, I push this button and pull it and pull the camera right out. So very easy. So I don't either hold it in my hand. I don't, I don't like wearing like the shoulder harnesses. I just, I'm not a fan. So this works absolutely perfect for me. So as I said, I got a lot going on in here. I kind of use this as like a mobile, a mobile station for everything. So all the good stuff is kind of centered right here, pretty much right here, actually. So we'll, we'll hold off and get to that one last, but kind of just some basic stuff in here. I'm not going to pull everything out, but for my action cam, I keep three, I keep all three of my batteries in here fully charged every time. So I don't have to worry about forgetting to charge the action camera, which is in this pouch here. Um, cool little thing. I have a little printer. You guys probably can't see that. I have a little printer here and I can print little labels off and that printer just shows everything that has a battery. So if I ever need to like, okay, I'm going out early. I don't have very much time. What do I need to charge? I can look at that and just kind of do a self checklist of everything that I have charged. Besides in here, just a few wipes, uh, cable ties, pencil, miscellaneous, pretty much. This is honestly just like a miscellaneous, like I forgot or I need something in a pinch that I never thought I would ever need pouch. And that's, that's pretty much what rests there. And this pouch here, which you can actually see, I feel like this is kind of important at least. Um, here a USB hub to C and USB A just in case so I can use any type of charger if I have to if I break a cord whatever it may be I can always have an extra spare and then a Peter McKinnon multi-tool kind of I keep it in this nice little pouch just because I can but these things are really cool they're again slightly expensive but I am kind of a fan of it and I keep it also in the pouch if I ever want to pocket it things like that I can do that as well again um, miscellaneous mount for the action camera here I should be able to see that. Yep. Um, an extra swivel for uh, for an action camera mount. 
And then this is the other end that connect that goes into like the PGY tech stuff on my tripods, which was on that tripod that we saw there. Clicks in, same thing, clicks out just as it was on the arm strap as well. So I can actually mount that and use that on the tripod as well. An extra mount if I ever do bring out another tripod, like the one that currently this camera is sitting on, anything like that. And then these are the extra clasps as well for the action cam. And this is a screw on for one of the action camera mounts. And this is, I have this one that goes in there primarily. And then this is my backup in case I lose it because I already lost it once. Here, pretty straightforward to this guy. And this is a very tight fit, which I'm very happy about, but it fits actually perfectly. And another thing I will mention is I have two large cubes in here and I use this independent. So the only way to get to this top pouch is either unzipping from the top, which I will show in a little bit, or un undoing the magnetic. This is mag magnetized to hold in there. Otherwise, these can be taken out freely and independently. These cubes, you can put smaller cubes or leave them entirely blank, or you can take this top cube and flip it on its side so this whole top can be viewed from the top, depending on how you want to run the bag. So again, not as a sponsored or anything, but it is fairly customizable. I'm in here, this is all my lens. I have a black diffusion. I believe I have an ND filter in here and then an extra UV filter as well. Nice little nice little pouch found it on Amazon. And then here I have this. I have my my drone set up here so that I have the I have the cool the cool controller here and I keep I just keep it under this. I don't think I really necessarily need to, but I do just for the peace of mind, honestly. Uh, I did get the like the big bonus package, so I do have three of the max batteries for my drone, which is a DJI Mini 3. And this actually charges them and it can also be used as a power bank as well. So again, about 22 minutes per battery. So there you have an hour of fly time right there, which is pretty slick. And then underneath this, and this is all just like for packing, just like you would like a box to ship. I actually have the DJI Mini drone and I don't keep any battery in it. And I use a 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD in that as well to keep keep all the videos like you saw from my intros I've done previously and things of that sort. All right, now we're moving on to kind of the upper level. Just some more miscellaneous stuff here. It's just a little, little cleaner here. And I also keep a phone mount in here. I've never actually used this, but I keep it just in case I ever want to take like an offhand shot and I'm currently using the camera here and I am using my main camera, which I don't actually really shoot video on anyways. I just need just an, an extra offhand angle. Uh, the phone, I have a Galaxy S23. That will work just perfect for that. And another thing I should add that I keep next to my drone is I keep a, keep a ooh, very, ooh, very neatly, need some oil on this, but I just keep a random uh, pocket knife, either cutting things or opening packages. I, I get it all the time where I'm trying to buy some. I, I buy something, can't get it open. I need to go get a scissors, need to get a knife, and you sit there and try to wriggle and rip the package open. And as most people know, it never turns out well. And then this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. So for people that do like uh, POV photography and everything, this is actually what I bought this for uh, in the plan of using it. But I've just, again, unfortunately, uh, as I said earlier, uh, I've been way too busy, but this is actually a magnetic mount. So instead of having to wear like the massive harness that you see people wear for a lot of their videos, it's a very strong magnet. So you actually wear this band uh, below like your shirt, sweatshirt, jacket, or whatever it may be, mount your action cam to this and it actually magnetizes. If you heard that click, like I said, it's pretty strong. It's a pretty strong mount. And I have one prefixed on here already that can just click right on my action cam and I can keep it very kind of a low key and conspicuous almost without, and I also don't have to sit up and worry about a massive harness. So this has not been used yet, unfortunately, just because of my schedule, but I do really hope to actually get some use out of this. And, even though I have never used it, and uh, I've, I've, I'm, I'm very excited. This is this is awesome. This actually gave me a reason to actually try it. Another thing I should mention is you can adjust the height by this guy here. So by pushing this, I have it set already, but pushing this in and out, and it'll actually control. That's on the back of your neck. So for the height wise, what it may be. And I, this was on Amazon, and I will put the link down below if I remember it. Hopefully. All right. So we are going to hold this here because, as well as you can see, the printing labels I have here, which are actually fairly inaccurate now, but I actually keep some info below here, my name and phone number and everything like that. So if this bag is ever lost or stolen, I can number one, prove it's mine. And number two, if it's ever lost, I can get someone that will hopefully, hopefully call me and let me know where it is. So this is a Peter McKinnon. I believe this is like a travel, a travel bag, travel pouch, whatever it may be. But this, this, as you were going to see here, um, 
pulls out like this. That's where I, that's where I pull it out from the kit. But this holds a lot, a lot of stuff. So again, I'm going to keep it leveled here to hide all my personal information. But I keep an extra dead cat for the mic I'm currently using. And then the covers that actually mount to my camera body as well to cover that lens. And I carry multiple cables. I carry one micro SD, one USB-C, and then one USB-A to USB-C. Again, with that, with this guy here, I want to be able to make sure I have everything covered. Or if I need to charge two things at once, I do have that capability. And then this is where we're going to start getting into some good stuff here. So this is, I believe, a PGY tag. Yes. So this is actually a memory or a, a reader and an SD card holder. And I just got this. Oh, there we go. I figured out how to open it. So this actually holds some uh, extra SD cards as well. And then this uh, USB-C can plug right in and you can actually read cards right through this through here. So very, a very cool thing. And it's one of those things that I was carrying something to hold SD cards, but the fact that I also needed something to read it, I just did not want to have to carry more. So I actually condensed, moved some things around, got rid of a few things to make room for this because it is truly, truly worth it. Um, here is my is my is my action cam, which is a mini three or action three, I believe. Yes, action three. Um, again, no no uh, no battery in it. The batteries were in that this guy up here. But I'm, I, I like this. This thing is awesome. Um, I, I'm not a really fan of the GoPros. I've never used one, I should say. But I've looked up. I looked up a lot of stuff when I was getting this guy, and the Action Three beat it. I think in everything. And I, I know there is now an Action Four out, and I'm not going to be getting that because I don't use this enough to actually uh, use an upgrade yet. Hopefully, again by the end of the year, if I up upload some more stuff, hopefully I'll have a reason to get that. But as of now, I really don't, unfortunately. All right, so then here I keep just some basic. Uh, I, I love these headphones. These are just Logitech wired headphones. Uh, I love them though because of the case. The case is slim and compact, so it fits easily in here. If I ever need headphones, to just do whatever. I know some people use headphones so they can hear their audio when they're doing POV recordings or whatever it may be. If my I have wireless Beats, but if those ever die, I have a backup pair here. And then a power bank, pretty straightforward in that pocket. So again, there's a lot going on in this case and. Looking at it from the outside, it does not look like there's much to it, but with all those different layers and holding the cords and everything like that, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. All right, so now again, uh, apologize if this is kind of jury rigged. I kind of, like I said earlier in the video, kind of had a rough, rough time this week trying to get some time to make this lot going on. So this was, this is kind of a rushed, but again, I'm trying to stick to it uh, a video a week. So. It, I'll put everything like I said down in the comments. If there's any other questions, I missed anything, please let me know and I'll definitely add it as soon as I can. So again, this opens from the top here, which I will show in a moment, but right now I'm gonna open it from this side to show the first thing here. And this is for what I am using now, which is the Osmo Pocket 3, I believe is what it's called. I mean, there might be a correction on the screen here, but I bought the creator kit for it. So in the camera you are watching now, store is in here as well as an extra power bank, and as well as the mic I am using as well, the DJI Transmitter 2. Um, kind of some cool stuff in here. So I have an adapter so you can actually hold it and screw into a tripod. The tripod. And then I keep a lav mic in here and then an extra band for it as well. So nothing too crazy, but uh, again, it's, I like to be, like I said uh, in the beginning, I like to be prepared and have everything. I don't like to change it out. I know a lot of people try to keep it as lightweight as possible and change their kit based on what they're doing for the day. And I just don't have enough time in the day, unfortunately, to do that. So this is kind of how I adapt to it. And then last not, but not least, and everyone's favorite part, hopefully, of the bag is my camera. So again, I have that clamp on the bottom I talked about where you go into the harness or into my tripod mount. This is a Sony a7R 4 61 megapixels. Um, not the first camera I owned. Not actually, or, but definitely the most expensive and most well worth camera. The other camera I owned was an older Canon camera, which I got when I was first trying to get into photography and I needed to learn to understand it. Like shoot, what, is, what is shooting in manual mean? I mean, just bare bones, basic stuff, so which in theory, I think I'm still learning. And I think most photographers learn forever, but this thing is a beast, 61 megapixels. So even I saw a lot of things where people were zooming in cropping and they were still getting the high quality photo of off of the zoom when it was zoomed immensely actually in Photoshop. And that was, I wanted to do a lot of stuff with sunsets and things like that. And this is, this is definitely one for me. So again, a very pricey camera, but 
for what I wanted to do, very worth it. And then my favorite lens and the only lens I actually have for this camera currently, which is a Sigma 24 70 DGDN, which is the art lens, I believe, um, 82 millimeter here. And this guy, again, that, that range of 24, uh, 24 to 70 is just, it, it's really can't be beat. It's about thousand USD, I believe. Um, it's got a lock autofocus, the whole 90 yards on it, but it is, it is truly, I think one of those lenses, this is a roughly the threshold, you know, 24 to 70 or 20 to 70, where it's like the best go-to all around lens. And like I said, this is the only lens I have. So I, I definitely do believe that as well. And then here, if I pop this guy off, I have a, I'm trying, remember, I'm trying to remember what this is. This might be a diffusion. This is a black diffusion filter on here. So I think I talked about that in my last video, helping with sun um, and snow. Big, big issues, obviously, where I'm at. And that does work, just excellent work. I have used it once or twice, and I watched a lot of comparisons on it. So it's about, it was about 40 USD, but uh, I believe it's definitely worth it because all I was using was a UV filter, and which does nothing but really protect the lens. So I actually wanted to get a bit more impact out of that, and that is, is exactly how I did it with that guy. So again, because I forgot to show it the first time, that is the mount on that guy on the on the tripod here. So again, if you're not familiar with these tripods, you can just really quickly, pretty flexible. Mine's pretty stiff just because I, I truly just got it. I've only used it to really test. But uh, again, one of those things where I saw the reviews were great and it's also stable enough where I can use it to hold it. So if I want to put this camera on or something like that, I think it'll work perfect for it. So unzipping in here, as you can see, it's a very tight fit in here, but it does get the job done. You just have to be a little, little patient on the unpack. But I do have just, there's an extra little zip bag here and this holds, because again, I'm very, I don't like any of this stuff to break. I'm not very rough with it, but it's also expensive. So I, I hate to not be aware of something breaking and I go to use it two weeks later and it's broken. That just pissed me off. So I carry, I carry two uh, generic batteries and then I keep the original Sony battery in my camera. I got this on Amazon. It came with a rapid charger. Again, I can link that down in the description if someone would like. Not the greatest and again i don't really go through a, for a battery a day anyways for what i do but i again peace of mind for me is big because i i don't have very much time to go out so if i go out and my battery is dead or it's at 40 percent and i have to leave after an hour or wait and let it charge off of you off a battery bank or whatever that's very that's that's a bad day just right there no matter what i do the rest of the day so these are just in here as a backup as well as an extra arm a strap so this is a strap that actually clicks in onto the onto the little little tie that's hanging off the camera. Um, mostly, I'm, a, I'm not gonna. I'm very I'm highlighting a lot of this stuff because I know a lot of you already know what this is. But again, if not, let me know and I'll link it down below. And then an SSD, pretty straightforward. I keep all of my photos on here and things like that. After I go in and edit them, or even I, I bring them to my computer onto here, and then I take everything off of my S SSD. And then it's kind of like my internal backup. If something ever goes wrong with my laptop that I use or whatever, I always have all of my photos that I've shot if I ever want to do something with them or my vlogs. Pretty much everything I do for content is on that SSD and will be. It's a massive FSD. I believe it's a, like 500 gigs. And if you're just putting photos and such on there, you really don't need anything else. And then speaking of everything that I do all of my content on, I, I'm, again, most people know I'm a big gamer. I was gaming a lot, lot longer before I was doing photography. And so I'm a big fan of Windows. I love Windows. I'll use Windows on my primarily my primary computer, which is right over there forever. But for photo and video editing and everything like that, I I finally cried a little bit and thought about, about a MacBook. So this is a 2023 MacBook Air with an M2 chip, 15.3 inches, and obviously the midnight gray. And this thing is amazing. I, it's, it's truly all I can really say is it's, it's amazing. Um, again, like everything Apple, it's very expensive, but I needed something lightweight and everything like that, and this definitely did it. And the charge is usually right here. So if, one, if people are wondering, uh oh, I can't find it. If people are wondering why this is kind of a, a weird setup, it's because I this is not primarily where it goes. This is where my MacBook sits. So. There is that set up right there, and I think I covered everything, but again, I probably didn't. So if you need anything, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are still here, it's probably my longest video I've done in a long time. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.